Hello, everyone. So Tesla shares are up this morning on the news of a new CEO for Twitter, Elon Musk, uh, stepping down from CEO and into the chief technology officer position uh, within the next few weeks. Also, we got a recall in China and price increases in the States for most Tesla models. So let's dive into it. So here's a look at Tesla shares this morning, up 2.5% at 176.39. And there's a note here, Linda Yacarino, possible new Twitter CEO, resigns from NBC Universal. So maybe that's the new CEO. And Tesla has raised prices for all its vehicles except the Model 3 in the States. Got an article here from Reuters. The company raised the prices for all variants of its higher priced Model S X vehicles by $1,000, while prices of all Model Y variants increased by $250, its website showed. This represents an increase of about half a percent to one and a half percent. This is the second price hike for Model S X and Model Y cars since April 19th, when Tesla last cut prices for some of its cars in the US. There were no changes to the prices of its cheapest car, the Model 3, since the hike earlier in May. Even after Thursday's price hike, the base Model S and X cars remain cheaper by 16 and 19 percent in the US respectively compared to the start of the year, while the Model Y's long-range version is about 23 percent cheaper. Now last piece here, news of a recall in China, and this one's a little bit of a head-scratcher. Headline here, China orders Tesla to recall 1.1 million vehicles over braking risks. Defects on certain Tesla models could lead drivers to step on the accelerator pedals for longer than necessary, increasing the risk of collisions, China's market regulator says. The recalled vehicles include some imported SX Model 3 cars as well as Chinese-made Model 3 and Model Y vehicles that were manufactured between January 12, 2019 and April 24, 2023. The issue involves the vehicle's regenerative braking system, which generates electricity from the car's motion when the driver takes a foot off the accelerator. The state administration for market regulation said in the statement that the cars might not provide a warning when the driver presses hard on the accelerator for a long period. The defect could lead to increased risk of collision, the statement said. Tesla said it would fix the vehicles with the software update sent wirelessly to the vehicles, the regulator's statement said. So I guess maybe there's regulations in China that says you have to provide a warning when you step on the accelerator for an extended, when you press hard on the accelerator for an extended period of time, which obviously you can do in any vehicle. <clears throat> you can press hard on the accelerator for extended period of time. It's, it sounds to me like in China, they require there to be a warning saying, hey, you stepped on the accelerator hard for a long time. That could be dangerous. Most of the headlines are not. I had to search around to really find exactly what this issue was. Most of them just say, oh, it's a braking issue. And, you know, makes it sound bad for Tesla. 1.1 million vehicles being recalled. Braking issue. Some of them don't point out that it can be fixed via just a software update, which again, to me, if the problem can be solved with a software update and you don't have to take your car in to, the, to a service center, it's not your traditional recall in my mind. It's, it's, it's something else. It needs, to, I don't know what the word should be, but a, a forced software update is required of Tesla due to safety reasons but it's not a recall like there was other articles that i found where it, it, it said it, it suggested uh that they would have to return the vehicles well you don't return the vehicle when it's just a software update over the air so after looking into this and basically a non-issue seems like the market is realizing that as the shares are still up this morning usually if a 1.1 million vehicle recall you know would have a negative effect <clears throat> on the shares but that doesn't seem to be happening so so yeah that's it for this morning basically a uh, good news day for tesla with uh elon stepping down from a ceo position of twitter and a new lady stepping in 
market seems pretty happy about that with the shares up late last night and this morning. So my name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen Channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right. And thanks for watching.